with a lot of uh, citizens in, in years past as well. Thank you. Oh, I just want to acknowledge Caleb is here, I believe. Oh. All right. Uh, last witness uh, is going to be uh, his first time testifying it to this committee is Mr. Clay Edwards. Clay, if you would come up and you have follow, you have seen enough to know, just go to the mic, and when you get there, you are recognized. I've asked Clay to come talk. He is a local radio host, but he deals with a lot of crime, or just kind of, kind of his, uh, what he talks about a lot. He deals with a lot of a lot of people, a lot of citizens that we all represent, call and talk to him, and I've asked him to provide us with uh, basically a man-on-the-street type uh, testimony for us. So you're recognized. Uh, thank you all for having me. I do appreciate it. You know, a uh, little levity here. If you had told my mother that I was going to be in the same room downtown with John Cleddy and a Chief Justice, she would have said, what has that boy done now? <laughs> so <laughs> we, all, we can all change and evolve and, and grow, so I do appreciate the opportunity. You know, I, I, I'm running through my mind what I, would, what I would say at this, and after getting the opportunity to listen to the folks that I got to hear, and looking at the criminal justice system, I get called a lot of things, from alt-right to far-right to a lot of other things that I don't agree with. But one thing I do not necessarily agree with what I would consider a conservative thought process, I think there should be criminal justice reform in every aspect. And whether it's what's going on in the prisons here in Mississippi and around the country to the public defender issue to over-sentencing to under-sentencing. Um, I was a citizen in Jackson for 43 years. I'm 46 years old. Been in, I moved out about three years ago. I guess it was March of 21 after record-breaking years of homicide in Jackson. Uh, what was it, 120 homicides in 2020, 153 in 2021? It's been 502 homicides in Jackson, if you believe JPD and what they've told WLBT. And after last week, it going from 71 to 101 overnight. I, I don't know that I believe those numbers. But about 502 homicides since January 1st, 2020. The, the, the city that I grew up in is out of control. So I do want to thank y'all for what y'all have done here with the Capitol Police, with HB 1020, everybody that was for that, I do appreciate it. The citizens of Jackson, politics aside, appreciate the efforts. Um, unfortunately, the Capitol Police don't cover all of Jackson. They cover this area here. It's expanding, so that'll be good. Uh, my parents <clears throat> still to this day live right over off Forest Hill Road and what we could, it was Byram. Now I call it South South Jackson. And we never see police down there uh, from anywhere, from JPD, from Hines County, from dang sure not Capitol Police because that's not their area. And we, we, we've seen the effects of what an out-of-control criminal justice system has on a city like Jackson. We've seen property values. I, I consider my inheritance, my family's home and land out there, is basically worthless compared to what it was five, ten years ago, especially ten years ago before they got annexed by Jackson. Jackson's come out there, hasn't done anything. I, I don't mean to get on a Jackson ramp, but that's my area. That's my area specialty. Is where I grew up, and I've seen what crime and a soft on criminal justice system does, soft on criminal justice system does to to an area like Jackson. I mean, obviously you all have too. I mean, you're down here. You, you helped create the, help fund the Capitol Police, help with the HB 1020, which we fully supported. So I moved to Brandon. I said about three, two and a half years ago, three years ago. And I've jokingly said I, I feel a bit like a political refugee that had to seek asylum outside of the city. And, you know, and there's, it's partly true. If you're worried about having to defend yourself, we're talking about a city, a county that prosecuted its own police officer in Anthony Fox and got him sitting there rotting away in a jail for a crime I believe he did not commit. If they'll do that to their very own police... What would they do to an outspoken citizen like me or anybody else that has to defend himself in his home, has to pick my life over a bad guy's life? I, I couldn't take those chances. I had to get me and my family out of there. And, I, I, you know, I believe that comes back to what we're here, sitting here discussing today. So, any questions? Any questions for Mr. Edwards? How, how are your... Uh 
vast majority of people, and I understand we do, we're dealing with some demographics there and the people that call your show, but the vast majority of them, how do they feel about the criminal justice system in Mississippi? Everybody that calls the show, I think race and politics aside, but I have a huge social media presence too. And so I, I see a lot of different comments and stuff under those posts. People admit there's a problem that needs to be resolved. I can definitely understand the, the public defender issue y'all are talking about today. If I got arrested today for having, we'll say, using my example of why I moved, for having to defend myself in a murder trial, if I got arrested today, my mom would know that I, John Coletti was not my attorney because she would know I couldn't afford John Coletti. She would know I'd have to get a public defender. And hearing what I've heard today just solidifies exactly how I felt about that system. And, you know, uh, no offense to anybody that does it. God bless you. But to hear that we're losing the best and brightest because the county can't afford to pay them, it's extremely scary. And I think most people would agree with that. If I have to be defended, I want to know I'm getting the best defense within reason that, uh, that the state can offer. Any other questions for Mr. Edwards? All right. Clay, thank you. Uh, thank you for waiting around. Thank you for coming and uh, providing this testimony. And uh, keep up the good fight, okay? Yep, great. Thank you all. All right, if y'all will permit.